everyone, and welcome back to the NHL Hate Podcast. Uh, guys, uh, Darius, Matt, uh, how are we feeling today? I'm getting ready to hate. <laughs> well, that was quick. I thought you were going to say more. Uh, yeah, we're here for the presentation trailer. I'm very excited to be underwhelmed. I'm sure. I'm well, guys, sure. I'm sure through what we've seen, it's not going to be anything crazy. We'll, see. well, guys, what's important to note is, as John Cena once said, "Rise above hate, guys." Come on, come on, fellas. I, pre- I pre-ordered the game. I can't even hate on it. Ah! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll probably just buy it day one. Who knows? But guys, um, it is a eight-minute presentation trailer. There was a tweet about earlier today. I haven't seen the greatest reception about the trailer itself. But as we do on this show, uh, we were top three in on Red- the, the EA subreddit <laughs> last month because we're such haters. We're going to run it back. So for those of you that are watching, you know, the Grit cast, the Hate cast, the NHL haters cast. Uh, yeah, we're back. All right, Darius. Let's, right. let's start this video. Let's get into it, boys. How's it going, guys? I'm Tactics HD, and this is the presentation deep dive for NHL 24. It's about eight minutes long. Just so you know. <laughs> hey, this is hard. This is hard. If you guys have never heard of me, I make an NHL content on YouTube over 10 years now, and last month I got to sit down with the lead presentation producer at ENHL, David Pritchett, where we talked about all the new features and changes to the upcoming game. Now, my first question was about the new Hype Moments feature and how it makes all the arenas in-game come alive. We've really uh, kind of expanded out what we call, at least under the hood, the crowd engagement score, or the CES. So there's positive events, there's negative events. And as you kind of build up positive events, it really gets the home crowd uh, kind of riled up. What? Ah, let's go! Twenty-four is the new creation zone environment. It sounds kind of dry. Like that sounded chance. like four guys in a studio. The cool feature they added this year is ability to create thirty more teams, fifteen hundred more skaters, and two hundred more goalies than previous years. So those custom rosters should be awesome. Oh, okay. oh that's, that's a way better UI. Way better, that's a way better yeah. UI. Options within that mode. We've got over one hundred and fifty new pieces of vanity gear that are animated, that's cool. which need to kind of be seen to believe. Oh, that's sick! Got, that's like, pretty cool. Yeah, Spider-Man. Something pieces of vanity gear that aren't animated but look super Freaking premium. Miami Boy children. No what the what fuck? What the heck was that? Option, which the fans have been asking for for quite some time. That's pretty. Wait, sick. you can go no tape? Did I just see that? And the material tuning. That's cool. The sticks as authentic as possible. The metalness. The oh, that's cool. Okay. That's alright. Exactly yeah. right. Another Who's that? one. Oh, Sanderson. Sanderson. Been asking for for a long time is you can now put a cage on any helmet whatsoever. We've got the full cool. visor supported as well. And also uh, the skin material. Who was asking for that? Inside of Creation Zone. But I don't think anyone was asking was act- for that. That was actually my number one request. Really? Really? That's a good Byfield face scan. What yeah, the, the faces look pretty good. I won't lie. This year's game, guys, is the new Flex Moments. No longer are you celebrating from your regular camera angle. No Flex Zone. Close and personal now on your player. I'll have Pritchett tell you the thought process behind that change. Previous years, we've allowed the user to celebrate. Oh my God! It's just been from the gameplay. Camera. Nice defense, Great buddy. Defense. Come on, um, come on, number three. <laughs> and if you look at, you know, any images on Twitter, Instagram, three, is that Pelic? of your favorite player celebrating, yeah, I think so. always like down low and up close. Didn't make my list, guys. Didn't make my list. The face they're usually screaming, kind of thing. Uh, we needed to capture that. So in offline modes like franchise, I and, I uh, hate now, this. The, the well, can yeah, we can we, not, can, we can we that. pause for a second? Yeah, pause I, for a I hate this. Um, I do want to leave the conversation sir, first by saying, obviously, I didn't play the beta, but I heard this was one of the main things in the beta that no one really liked. So I guess you guys can kind of speak on that. Yeah, yeah, it's more like cinematic uh, celebrations rather than like a full control, like in uh, previous games where you could like. What what I do uh, for my celebrations, like I skate to the middle and I slide. Like you can't you can't do that. You press a button and then it sort of brings you to a cutscene where your player mm-hmm. does like a, a a celebration that you have added on. Yeah, I think yeah. like in NHL 11 they added the ability to do like whatever celebration you want, and then they peeled it back a little bit on PS4. Uh, but still, like you were able to do whatever you wanted and kind of slide across the ice, like Matt said, if you wanted to. Now it's just you press a button, there's a cutscene with your celebration. Like, it's kind of very NHL 04-ish to me and takes away from it uh, a lot. And it was, I, I swear, it was a main complaint. Like, looking at the Reddit and stuff, like, nobody, everyone was like, we don't like this through the beta. And I know they changed it a lot because of the, the feedback in the beta. They didn't change this, and I don't think it looks good. I don't know what you guys have, you know, final thoughts on that, but I don't uh... like this. I I will say as someone who didn't play the beta, I think that it doesn't it's not 
I feel like you could do like a you know like a little mixture of a cinematic cutscene, like first show like the aerial view, then maybe in a replay which they've already done. Because I didn't hate the way the celebrations were before. I was there a little bit more like fluid, mm-hmm. and you had the option to again button map your celebrations. I've been hammering that point for like three years now. I just think it's weird when like you score, then it goes right into a cinematic cutscene every single time. Like, dude, imagine this would be this would get annoying for like any SHL. We score like eight goals. Imagine annoying. this every time. Yeah, so that's that's my opinion. But I'm honestly, for the people that are watching, I'm not gonna be too up in arms about a celebration. Uh, so it's it's cool. You can continue the video. Matt, any other thoughts? Uh, no, I think I summed it up pretty pretty well when Nick asked us at the start there. All right, let's let's continue here. Collection of authentic celebrations that can be chosen, along with um, signature celebrations for certain players. And then inside of Ishal, World of Chell, uh, there's 75 new celebrations that are, some of them I are kind of pretty like crazy, one. but one thing they all have in common is that they look awesome. Uh, brand new camera, brand new lighting. Who motion and cap that? animation for every single one of them that is appropriate for the celebration. And now with Flex Moments, the other big change of presentation this year has to be the new dynamic rink boards. Obviously some controversial opinions about those. I asked Pritchett how they're gonna ensure that they're not distracting for players. When you score, you know, we get a special animation there and we bring up, um, you know, the most- Oh yeah, here we go, press triangle. Stat. So if it's a career milestone or- That's cool, I don't, I don't- I don't mind this at all. I think it's pretty like cool. That's what we're gonna showcase on the boards. And then in the world of Chell, uh, there's this whole new kind of customization. Oh, that's uh, cool, what the fuck? Banners, we call them, but they're, they're graphics. Yeah, I, don't know why would, I don't know why I would put that in a hockey game, game but hey, that's just me. Over the boards as well. Oh, so yours plays now, when you score. That's pretty cool. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Players who play without audio, which I sometimes do, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Matt, this is for you. That's that's it's exactly for me. Obviously, not playing with audio. And while audio is awesome and everyone should play with audio, we get it. There are people that don't want to play with audio. What if you Instead can't? Instead of, okay. um, you know, doing something like bring up an overlay or something like that, you know, we just put it on the boards themselves. So if there's a delayed penalty, the empty net, so a goalie. Oh, goal, that's funny. Uh, that's funny as fuck. We now so like, on the board. if someone takes a penalty, you'll, you'll see know. that shit right you'll away. Know. You'll see that shit. That's <laughs> so funny. That's no, I, to, I'm actually all in with the board stuff. The I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it looks good. No, like that looks good. Why? It's a video game. You might as well use it, right? They, they see it yeah. already just just from playing they just kind of see it out of the corner of yeah at least it's not like ads like it is in real life yeah. it's actually it's showing you like information like useful stuff. stuff yeah yeah like dude okay hold on i was thinking like i'll just pause it for one second i just want to say this 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 is like that's nothing to do with the video imagine if the actual boards in the nhl did this like during the game it would show like the shots for each team that'd be sick i think i think it only did it um to my memory during the 2016 world cup when they were testing out the the digital boards it would show stats and it would show like power play time left. Yeah, that'd shots. be cool. Yeah, it, it's that, that's what but, its use is for. Yeah, but no ads. Ads that the player like blends into. Of co- of course, like in real life, it's gonna be ads. Like, come on, guys, you know, like yeah, no, no, money. no, but, I know, I but know. for the game purpose, like this is very. I think no, it's very dude, useful. I like it looks this. great. It looks that like actually this. looks great. That that is something I'm very critical of EA and and the NHL franchise. I like that. That's not bad. Oh, what, Darius, you, you have a problem with them or something? I, could, I couldn't tell. Nope. Okay. I'm just, but no, I just I'm, honestly... I think they could do a lot better. That's... that's all we're, we're halfway through this trailer, and I haven't hated something yet. So, you know. Give it time. Fair. Give it time. Yeah, there's still, still half a trailer left, Nick. <laughs> All right, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Graphical improvements in HL24. There's now sweat exertion on players, which is very cool, as well as new facial animations. Okay. Nope. Nice All right. Okay. More about that feature. Two K. Whether or not it'll be available. On <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. All of the new heads, 22 new star heads. They're in all platforms. So Gen 4. Yeah. The facial five. scans the actually look. The exertion is good. Gen 5. Who the fuck only. is that? Uh, That's oh, been years. Years. Been years. Great feature. Yeah. But what you'll see Bernard. The Whoa, he's small. The players, <laughs> they get more sweaty, kind of as they're out there on the ice working. Uh, they get back to what the, the fuck? is that? A bit of break. that? Yo, that's so creepy! That's so on. creepy! Yo, my boy, Rupe, Rupe, let's <laughs> go! That's a very cool little detail to see, especially with some of the replays that we have that get kind of up yeah, the cutscene I don't like, man. Yes, I'm just saying, yeah. It's okay. I'm, I'm never gonna see their face games. I don't play games back to players. Four. It's no longer Ray Ferraro. It's now Cheryl Pounder, and I asked Richard to explain what made her the perfect choice for that role. Cheryl kind of came in at this last second audition for us, and it was like, oh, she's meant to be working on this well, game. it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels. 
goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot. And that's exactly what happens here. Out Good. battling, out willing, and you make the save. And now in addition to new Just give me the NBA Jam guy. guy. <laughs> he's on fire. Come on. He's on, every couple seconds, he's on fire. Whoa, 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 chill, chill. This is awesome, too. This was kind of in the beta. The back end of the game or the actual game itself. What we're really going for is authentic emotion. So we needed those authentic tracks. And we got some classic tracks like a Darut Sandstorm. We got Tsunami. By oh, cool. Dallas, <laughs> in the tantrum, hand clap. And of course, we Come on, man. Well, I can make your head. Cha Cha Slide, let's go. Cha Cha Slide. slide. Go. Yo, 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 we're using the Cha Cha Slide next year. That's our goal song this year. My favorite presentation feature in NHL 23 had to be the all nice projection. So I asked Pritchard whether or not we'd be getting any Darut Sandstorm, though. That's so funny. Here's what Pritchard had to say. We reached out to uh, the teams that we didn't have an authentic on ice projection for. So we've got Washington. Oh, doing more than six this year? Montreal properly represented. <laughs> oh, we're we telling Seattle everyone about it? Which looks absolutely sick inside of the game. Plus, that does look cool. But mm -hmm. yes, definitely an effort was made there to try to get away from some of those generic on ice projections that we have for some of the teams and get as authentic as looks possible. Looks nice. And now finally, here's the Vegas does more than that for on ice projections. Yeah, All right, man, relax. NHL 24. Here's your answer. Yeah, what? so this year we brought back the. Yeah, did you know they took out uh, replays for, for offline? Offline modes, franchise. But there was no replays. Yeah, yeah. And, I just learned that too because I barely play um, offline. So okay, can I just AI say or like control team? You bro, I don't like when companies replays. advertise we bringing back a mode that no. shouldn't have got, the got rid of in the first camera. place. Did you also know that they got rid of this true broadcast camera? I had no idea. Now we have. Oh, they did. And they're bringing it back this year. Yeah, and it's a new feature. And that does it for the NHL 24 presentation deep dive. We'll let you guys thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to click the link in the description to pre-order NHL 24. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. All right. Honestly, guys, I low-key fuck with it. I fuck with most of what they did. I I think it's important to immerse your fans into, like, the game, the sport that they're playing. And I think making hockey games feel like you're walking into an arena or, like, you're you're actually playing in an NHL arena. Whatever they're doing is so, is so important. Um, I think the boards thing is cool. I like the customization, like the glowing jerseys would, if you could like, add, I don't think they'll let you add it to like your actual ESHL team, but if you could like make your jerseys glow, I think that'd be cool. That'd be and cool. the guy who looked like, the guy who looked like Ghost Rider was like sick. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but I feel like EA has to do a really good job of blending fun and realism. I think they've, they've, they've tried to lean more on one side more than the other and they just haven't done a great job. But this game, again, haven't trusted beta. They didn't send me a code, but yeah, I honestly, I'm cool with this stuff. It's aside from the cinematic thing, I think that might get annoying, but I'm cool with that. Um, what are you guys thinking? Yeah, I like the enhanced uh, presentation more of the on ice projections because, like Darius said uh, or Nick, uh, only six teams had it in NHL 23. Uh, it'll be nice to have hopefully the whole league. I'm not really, you know, holding out any hope for that. But yeah, uh, more presentations, cool. More customizations, cool. Yeah, the only thing I had a problem with was just uh, the the cinematic celebrations because it kind of takes you out of the out of the game a bit. Like, say you tie the game in the late stages, you want to celebrate with your team, right? But no, you press a button and then you, you watch you watch like one of your pre selected celebrations. Like, no, come but, on. So, question for you guys that played: What happens when you don't press the button? It just does or whatever like default yeah. thing like the normal like yeah where the guy goes like this yeah, yeah whatever okay. it is yeah. yeah 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 okay all right sounds good uh yeah, yeah so uh, sorry man were you gonna continue? okay no i was just gonna wrap up my thoughts there go ahead um so throughout the whole chat like i thought at the beginning to start like the canucks go canucks go chant kind of sounds weird so if all teams sound like that like i don't know if that's a good thing the cinematic when you score is going to get super annoying and i think it would be cool if it was just for like uh milestone goals but the rest was just like the regular celebration we normally have and with your with your team like everyone asked for that to come back and now they're kind of like moving away from it again so i think it'd be cool um if they took that out <laughs> the the boards overlay awesome everything about it i love it not gonna lie it's fantastic um and hopefully in the future they can add even more to that because like as you can see there's a score clock the pressure stats penalties all that stuff so i think that's all fine and dandy um and then getting the <laughs> the rights to darut sandstorm is a major plus that's awesome again they had it again, in nhl 11 it. as well that's right that game actually yeah. had an amazing soundtrack there's a lot of really good songs in that game um but anyway 
Uh, I think there's a lot to like in this trailer. There's also some things I personally dislike. I don't know if everyone will, uh, but I don't know. I, it seems all right. It seems like they're putting some effort in on that side of things, so that's good to see. Yep, and uh, I think I'll, I'll wrap this here. I would, It's hard to not cut EA any slack just because, you know, our experiences, but I enjoyed this trailer. I know we're known as haters of the game because the game isn't amazing, but I enjoyed this. I think this is cool. I think uh, when you're looking at and uh and an immersive enhancement a re enhancement whatever it's it's gonna be hard just to find things to nitpick and hate on generally speaking like i could find things in a gameplay trailer to hate on because i'm actually gonna be playing if i don't want to do any of these enhancements i can just look past it but i will say before we get out of here yeah uh that's cool i mess with it it's it'll be cool whenever we play like we hate on this game we're gonna play it a lot eventually we're all gonna end the game with like you know a thousand plus goals whatever whatever how many assists so, yeah, um, I don't know what to say. But, guys, that being said, uh, stay tuned to the GritCast channel. We're going to keep covering all things EA Sports NHL, uh, upload some gameplay, continue to react to the trailers, and, yeah, all that cool stuff. So, you know, if you're listening to this, watching this in the day or night, enjoy your day or in- enjoy your night, and always drive safe, guys. Uh, yeah, we got a couple more segments to record, so, you know, uh, sit- stick around on the channel. Top 10 centers, season previews coming, top 10 defensemen, top 10 wingers. And, you know, our regular podcast will resume soon enough. But, yeah, peace out, everyone. For more content, visit our YouTube channel. And check us out on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Don't forget to follow the guys on social media. At Matt underscore Mondays. At Nick Laflame. And at Darius Dominguez.